Hello my precious jewels, welcome and welcome back to my channel, it's Julie and if you like makeup tutorials, makeup hauls, makeup reviews, first impressions and all things beauty then you've come to the right channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing a full makeup look, a bold eye, a vampy lip, flawless skin and just a beautiful eye look. I'm going to be using products that I've reviewed on my channel before. It's been a minute probably since you've seen any of them. I may have touched them once or twice but haven't really played with them on camera. So I'm going to be doing that today. I'm going to be using this Juvia's Place Allure palette and also the Juvia's Place Afro Galactic palette. I think I may have used this palette two times. So this palette, one of you guys requested a blue eye look. A lot of people don't really wear blue eyeshadow anymore but actually last year cobalt blue or earlier this year cobalt blue eye looks were in so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna do a nice beautiful bold blue eye and a vampy lip i'm excited i haven't just sat down and done makeup in a minute hopefully this is something that you guys are interested in seeing and you will stay tuned for the video please if you've been to the channel before and you haven't subscribed i would love it if you would subscribe also, if you love a uh, bold makeup look, if you love full makeup, if you love makeup, period, please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. It helps YouTube know that you guys like what I'm doing and they, they push it out to other people and it allows the channel to grow. I'm going to get started, guys. First, I want to put something on my lips. I'm going to put this watermelon Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balm on my lips. It's one of my favorite balms. It smells like watermelon and it feels wonderful on the skin. Now I just pulled out a P. Louise base. This is Ruma 0.05 and the reason why I'm using this shade is because I want the blue to show up as blue as possible. So if I use the base then it will have a really true color. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing that. You guys can probably see my foundations, some of them right here. I've been pulling out foundations that I used to love. Like I got so tired of trying new foundations that just were not my shade. And I was like, uh-uh, let me go and find something that I like to wear that looks good on me. So that is what I'm doing today. I'm gonna take this P. Louise base and put it on the lid. But I also, I think I'm gonna use it to carve out my brow. I don't know what this look is gonna look like. I just know that the eye is gonna be blue. A nice dark lip for the fall. I actually have some new lippies that I got from Juvia's Place. I don't know if I'm gonna wear them now because I pulled some other stuff out of the closet. So it just depends on what direction I make up goes in. When I do eye looks, I like to do looks that are pretty wearable for the average person. Because everybody don't like those like crazy, crazy eye looks that you be like, I'm not going out in public with that on. So we're gonna do what we can do today. That's gonna be bold. This is gonna be a good date night makeup. It's gonna be a good girl night out makeup. It's gonna be a good concert makeup. <laughs> it's not gonna be a good, I'm going to work. Unless you work in like a clothing store or you work at Mac or something like that and you are, you know, showing some of their products. It's not gonna be that kind of look today. I'm gonna try to make this video as short as possible. So I may not show you like every, every step that I do, but I'm gonna show you enough where you can know what I did. It's funny because I'm excited to do this makeup look. I haven't done like really colorful, colorful makeup. But well, we're gonna do it colorful and tasteful. That's the idea. I don't know, like I said, what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start with a color and go from there and see what happens. I'm gonna start with this color right here, Solar, which is just something that I could blend the shadows into. So that's what I'm gonna do. It looks like a matte shade, but we're gonna see. I guess I'll talk a little bit while I am filming. So I started taking some workout classes because I love a gym that has classes. I took a Zumba class and it was wonderful, but now my knee is messed up and I can't even like step down on it. Like I've been taking painkillers, like nothing crazy over the counter <laughs> for painkillers, you know, just to be able to really step down on it. And I didn't, I didn't twist anything. So I don't know what happened. So I'm like, this is crazy. This is really a cool tone shade. It's not like it is joint pain or 
anything like that. I had knee surgery some years ago and my knees have never been the same. So it's just, it's just hurting. <laughs> it's just hurting. Like I, I don't want to stop, but I can't really do anything right now. Maybe a machine where I'm not putting no pressure on it. Yeah, I didn't realize it was going to be such a cool tone shade, but it's all right. I wanted something more warm for the fall. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this color right here, which is called Multiverse. And I'm going to put this here. Yeah. I hope you guys could see that because I th sometimes I'm not in frame. Oh, right. Okay. Multiverse. It's like a musty greenish yellow. Okay. Yeah. I like that. I see it already. I like that. I've been trying not to buy, but there's so many things that's coming out. So I think I'm going to do like a pass or purchase thing. I have a lot of stuff on my list. I like the way that blended together. Okay, so I think that I'm gonna take this color right here, Iris, which is like a purpley blue. And let's see. I always try to blend out as much as I can. And then sometimes like when I'm editing back, I'll be like, how did I miss that spot? That is pretty. That is pretty, guys. I'm gonna tell you what this brush is in a second. I know it's the V something because it's a vegan brush from Morphe. Yeah, I know I'm probably talking about so many different things, but anyway, yeah. So I've been on the Sephora site. They have so many things that are coming out. Now, I don't know everything that would interest you guys, so I can only pull up things that I think that you might be interested in and things that I might be interested in. It's definitely gonna be a purchase or pass video coming out for me soon. There's so many new palettes coming out. There is so much new stuff coming out. And I was chatting with one of you guys the other day. <laughs> and we were talking about doing a no buy until Black Friday. And I was like, oh, that sounds good. So hopefully that's going to work out. We're going to see. I like that so far. It's like a grayish blue, but I like it. That brush right there was the Sedona 863 brush, which is one of my favorites. And this one is the V204 brush. I actually like it. I think it's. It's nice. It put the product on really, really nicely. I'm gonna take this brush right here, which is the Sigma E25, and we're gonna go into this blue. These don't have any names. That kind of made it look a little green though. Okay, I guess we're gonna put this all over the lid. That's this shade right here. I'm gonna take this brush and just blend it out some. I love that blue shade. This blue has like a a kind of green undertone to me, but it's very pretty. I know this is looking a little suspect, but I promise you it's gonna be good when I'm done. It's a process. I'm gonna take this shade here. I'm surprised that's not more pigmented. That color is pretty. I like that. That is very pretty. This is like a sparkly blue. See this shade right here? I think I'm gonna put that on the other side of the lid. I love this. <laughs> it's my favorite. Because this is like a silvery blue. Do we like that one? It gives like a little bit of bright, a little bit of brightness. I like that. Very nice. <laughs> that is so good. It just gives a nice amount of dimension to the eye. Alright, let's do a wing liner. I'm still trying to perfect my wings. So far, I like that. This is the Danessa Myricks. Line work liner in a color onyx. It only comes in one shade so far. Let's put a little primer on. I'm gonna use this MAC Hyper Real Ceramizer. I haven't used it in forever. <laughs> like, I think since I bought it. And I think I bought it, I don't know, earlier this year? Or was it last? I think it was earlier this year before it got warm outside. But so far, this blue eye is looking really, really good. Oh, maybe I never tried it. <laughs> Because it took a lot of pumps for me to get that out. This is by MAC. Okay. Maybe I never used it. Maybe I bought it and never used it. I don't think I used it because it wouldn't have took me that many pumps to get the primer out if it was already geared up. Okay, so let's get back to all of the makeup that's coming out. So it's like five eyeshadow palettes that are coming out. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I got to get them. So much for not shopping. I guess after the first of the year, I'm not gonna buy anything. I'm just gonna use everything that I have. That is my goal up until April when the next 
sale happened. So that'll give me like almost six months, well five months of no shopping. And of course I'm gonna still be putting out content because I have so much makeup. I can keep going. <laughs> you know what, let me try this. This is the Touche Clot Blur Primer by Yves Saint Laurent. I never tried it before. So let's see, because I saw this today and it was $59 for the regular size bottle. This is pretty, it has like gold flecks in it. So we're gonna put it in the cheek area. It feels very gel-like. And we're gonna put some on the nose too. It looks like it's blurring though. I think I see blur already. Oh, look at that. Hmm. It's not agreeing with the other thing I have on. You see that? I guess we know that they don't play well together. See, that's why you gotta try these different products. You gotta try them and see what works with what. Because, wow, that's weird. I mean, like, it was really, <laughs> it was really coming off. Let me see. I do, I do like that blurring primer, though. It looked like it did blur. I'm gonna put a little bit more on, just a little bit in this area. Oh, this little paddle is flat for application, so I like that. It is definitely blurring the skin, because I see it. I'm just gonna tap that in. <laughs> We're gonna leave it just like that. Let me put some lashes on, guys, and I am gonna come back and finish the rest of the face. Okay, guys, I am back. <laughs> the skin is nice and tacky. I had these two different foundations that I wanted to try. This Dior Forever 24 Hour High Perfection Concentrated Floral Skin Care with Sunscreen SPF 15. And then the Double Wear. I never wore this on camera before. Like I never tried it on camera. So I think that that's what we're gonna do. This is shade Deep Amber 7-1. Now this used to be my shade. Let's hope that it still is. And pray. That's what the color looks like. I like it, it's not super orangey. It's got a very neutral kind of look. So let's see. It still has that smell. It's a little dark. This is a super full coverage, super long wearing foundation. The other day when I was editing, I noticed that I missed the spot on my face, right? And I kept missing it. Like as I'm watching the film, as I'm editing, I'm cringing because I'm like, I said, this is ridiculous. How did I miss that same spot? on my face, it's ridiculous. I was so upset. I really was so upset. I finally covered it with some powder, but I never hit it with the brush. I was like, how do you do your face and you don't hit that spot with the brush? It's like sometimes when you, most times when you're filming, like because the lights are so bright, and it's so funny because my light is not on me. <laughs> I just realized that. Sometimes when you're filming, you don't realize that you miss a spot until you see it on camera. I think this shade looks pretty good. I haven't worn it in forever. When I say forever, I mean forever. I think it's a good shade though. It is kind of orangey, but I think it's blending in pretty nicely. I mean, it's a little dark. Let's put some concealer on. I pulled out the Tarte Shape Tape. This is the shade Deep. I haven't used Tarte Shape Tape in forever. And what made me think about using it today is because they have a sale going on right now, 40% off. And I was like, I haven't used shape tape in forever. I think I may even have to wet a sponge. <laughs> I used to blend it out with a sponge when I used to wear it, so we're gonna see how it goes. I think the shade is actually pretty good. I have so many shades of shape tape, it's ridiculous. Let me see if I have a one that's lighter. I'm gonna put a little bit right here. Okay, so what I just realized is this was actually my lighter shade, the deep. So I'm gonna put a little rich. I'm just gonna reverse it and put the rich there. It should do the same thing for the most part. I'm gonna get my trusty E8 brush and I'm gonna blend it out. If I don't like it blend out with the brush, then I'll get my sponge and wet it. Yeah, I think that this foundation is like a little dark. I haven't worn it in forever, but I definitely think it's a little dark. What made me pull this out was, one of you guys the other day, we were talking about Estee Lauder foundation. And I was like, yeah, um, I think I told you 7-in-1, which is 
the color that I am. But now you can gauge what color you would need because this is it's a little bit darker than my my chest, but it blends in with my neck. So I think you should be able to gauge from this. I listen to you guys. Like when you guys make comments, sometimes it takes me a little bit of time to get to it, but I do, I do listen. I do listen. Okay, I'm gonna do here. This is still to me like really one of the best concealers. If you have to conceal something, this is it. It doesn't have the most natural look, but there's so many ways now to make stuff look a little more natural. And I think I will get a sponge and just blend out everything. It feels like everything is dried down already. Cause you know that double wear does not play. It dries down like it's supposed to. <laughs> it really does. Yeah, I just wanna blend that in. I don't wanna do too much because I don't want to take my concealer off. I like the brightness that I get from this concealer. I'm definitely going to set with my Charlotte Tilbury powder under these eyes. I like it though. It looks good. This is shade 3. I'm going in under the eyes with this. I bet you guys are going to be like, you know what? I forgot I had shape tape. Pull it out. It's still good. <laughs> Pull it out. It's still good. And it's still as good as it used to be. To me, like, it's really a good good concealer of course it's very thick and rich it's not lightweight like the new serum concealers but it's good i still love it <laughs> i'm telling you when you go into your makeup collection your makeup stash and you pull out makeup that you used to love and you mix it with the new makeup to see like if it works together sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't but i think the skin is looking really good to me I'm gonna spray it because it's looking maybe a little dry maybe just a little dry let's do a cream bronzer first this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills chestnut I love 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 this bronzer so let's see to me I think this bronzer just blends in so beautifully it really really does it's so easy like for stuff to just become obsolete <laughs> because we forget that it exists. We forget that we even have it. And we loved it at one time. I like this. I'm glad I pulled this out because it's still one of my favorites. Like I do reach for it. I'm gonna use this marshmallow one because I pulled it out the other day and I didn't use it. This is the next marshmallow setting spray. I think this one might be just as mad as that one though. Okay. Let me wet a sponge and I'll be right back. I might as well wet this one because I never really used it. I'm just going to pat this in. The skin looks gorgeous, guys. It really, really does. Now, I never used this sponge. It feels very spongy. I like it, though. It feels good. And it didn't really pick up a lot of product, which is wonderful. Okay, so this is our skin so far. It's looking really, really good. That was our cream bronzer. I don't feel like this is really dark enough. Can't really see that one. Let's see. I think I got one. That is a little bit darker. And these are the Ilias T lashes. Okay, let's try this one from Makeup Revolution. Let's see if this one is darker. Yep. Now you can see that one. What I can tell you is this foundation is looking a little dark, guys. And I already set the under eyes, so I don't even want to go in with nothing lighter. Or maybe I should. Because I'm not going to have no highlighted effect. I may, I may have to go in with another shade. Let me see. I'm going to use this one. This Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer in the shade Y7. Yeah, I think that's definitely going to give me what I'm looking for. Just know, guys, that everything I use on my face will be listed and linked below. This is by Rare Beauty. This is the shade Love. We're going to use this on our cheeks. I'm just doing two little drops, and I know I don't even need that much, but that's what we're doing today. It's such a pretty, like, terracotta kind of color. I'm going to use this brush. I feel like that's kind of light. We might need something a little bit deeper. Maybe we could just put a little bit more on 
because I do have deeper ones. I'm gonna use this right here, the Milani Cheek Kiss and Merlot Moment. That's a pretty fall color, because you can see it. And that's what we want, something that we can see. Okay, so far that's very pretty. And I don't know how this is gonna work with me. Blended it out over powder already. That's what happened to me last week. And I was like, what is going on? I forgot that I didn't set the powder. So let's see how this works out. Let's go back in with the powder now. Yeah, last time I did this, I didn't go in and set it with the powder again. And I was wondering, remember I was like, why is this sticking to my face? I don't know if you guys remember that, but yeah. So that was what happened with that. I don't know if you could see it already. I guess because I have the Makeup by Mario powders right here. Oops, that's what I'm gonna use today. The Makeup by Mario Surreal Soft Blur Setting Powder in shade Honey. So we're gonna use that. And then the darker one. This is a nice blurring powder. It doesn't do a lot for oil control, I'm gonna say that because I've worn it several times and although it looks beautiful on the skin, it doesn't do a lot of controlling oil long term. That it does not do, but it is beautiful on the skin. That's what the shade looks like. It's like a yellowy orange, but I think it's very pretty. Like it's got a lot of orange tones in it. It's a very warm palette. I guess that's why they call it warm honey. Cause he has a regular honey too. Yeah, this one is warm honey. We're gonna use this one now, which is called neutral medium deep. That's what the shade looks like. We're gonna put this on the rest of our face. I'm just gonna do the under eyes and then take this off. I like this blue. It may give us a more neat look under the eyes, even though we're gonna smoke it. But it's gonna make everything look neater. Okay, I'm gonna take this blue right here and this purple, which is called Orbit. I don't even know why I put purple when I'm doing like a burgundy lip. I may have to change the, <laughs> the lip color. I wasn't even thinking. But this is what came to me. I can always change the lip color. I'm gonna use this pencil from Melt Cosmetics. It's supposed to be a good waterline pencil. I don't remember it being really good. It's called apricot cream, we're gonna try it. I think I remember it being too creamy. Yeah, it was too creamy. Cause these are waterline pencils. That's what it looks like. I don't know if you guys remember this. But yeah, this was the pencil. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't really care for that, but let's see if we can cover it up a little bit. Cause I didn't like this color at all. It makes you look sick. I hate it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this right here. This is the Essence Lash Without Limits Extreme Lengthening and Volume Mascara. I tried this on yesterday and I had another mascara on that I was trying. And I think that mascara is still on my lashes because it's a waterproof mascara. I like this one. It's really not as good as my regular Essence Lash Princess, but this is what we got, so we're gonna use this. Now what I will say about it is, and this is not a review, but it is a review. It's actually really pulling my lashes out. Not pulling them out, but pulling them out like you can see the length. And my lashes are short at the bottom and at the top. I guess it's the brush. This is my favorite powder, the Dior Backstage Powder. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on this brush and then brush everything away. This is just to kind of bring everything back to one and smooth everything out. And I'll get a different brush and tap this in. All right, I'm gonna spray. I'm gonna use this, the Uniconic Glow Fixer. I need some life to the face now. Let's see, hopefully this will give it to me. It's a very, very light mess. I'm gonna take this purple and just Tone this down just a little bit because it's so white looking. Yeah, I just want to tone that down. I don't want to have it too bright looking up there. I'm going to use this bronzer, which is my NARS bronzer, because it should have the perfect 
shade that we need for this color foundation because the foundation is a little a little dark this is my favorite bronzer by nars the laguna it's the right amount of redness it has the right amount of depth like it really gives a nice bronzy look to the face so so good it just gives some nice dimension to the face I love this shade because you can wear it with any foundation you know they have different shades this is the darkest one but I just I love it I love 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 it I'm gonna use this blush right here this is house labs French Rose I think it's a gorgeous gorgeous shade for the fall it kind of reminds me of the bronzer a little bit. I don't know why, but it does. And it's not the same brush. Let me get a highlighter. I'm going to use this because it's my favorite. It's so beautiful. Let's just see. It's called Moonstone. This is by House Labs. I think that is gorgeous. It's very similar to the one I wore the other day when I was telling you guys I love it. It was just a little bit much because it was like... It was a warm tone look and it just was very cool looking. Okay, let's clean this off. This brush doesn't have anything on it. So I just wanna kind of blend it in. Okay, I'm going to go off camera and fix these brows. And then come back and do the lip. I'm gonna spray. <laughs> this is like my third setting spray, but everything is looking matte. So I'm gonna use this one. This is the Milk makeup hydro grip refresh spray i like this one i just want to add one more thing to the face i'm gonna go into this shade right here because i don't like that creamy color it's just not my shade I'm gonna put this in it in the corner also here that is such a pretty blue shade so I have these lipsticks from Milani this is the lipstick called sensual this is their fetish lipstick let's try this one called sensual and see if it's dark enough Let me put a liner on. I'm gonna put this liner on from Sephora, the molasses. So this is a nice, deep berry lip. Okay guys, this is our final look. I think the makeup came out really good. I didn't wanna do too much craziness with the blue eye, but I think the blue eye looks very, very pretty. I'm not gonna go over every product that we use because we will be here all night. This is gonna be a long video. But what I will do is I'm going to link everything and list everything in the description box below. Hopefully you guys love this look and you'll want to see more looks from me. This was makeup that I've used, never used, used to love, still love. And I love the way this makeup came out. It's very full, like a nice deep berry lip and a bold blue eye and just really clean skin, like just a hint of makeup on the skin, but a very flawless look. I think it looks beautiful. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Let me know if you wanna see just more looks like this from me. And I really enjoyed doing it. It was so much fun not having to like review a product. Of course, I did tell you like a little bit about some of the products, but everything that we use today is still available. So it's all available for purchase. And I'm sure that a lot of stuff that we use today, you guys already have in your makeup arsenal. I can't wait to hear you guys' thoughts on this makeup. Let me know your thoughts. Hopefully you love it. I think it looks pretty pretty good. Okay.